Hello everyone, this is XGC Artie, and I'm going to tell you about some issues with Sony Vegas crashing for the .ts files and the .m2ts files recorded with the HotPodge HD PVR I use. So, so I have a file here that has a .m2ts file. Now, see this is not the right, right settings for it. It says 29.970 frames per second, even though the video says it has 59.940 uh, frames per second. So when I switched it over to this, when I typed it in, 59.940, so I click apply and go over to audio, which is 48,000, yep, 48,000 hertz, 60 bit stereo, yep. So that's okay. So I click okay. Now I go to project, go to render as. And I click on custom. So video rendering is the best. Video, double NTSC, none, progressive scan, 100% Cinepec. That's what I use. So I just click okay. And I just click save. Let's see how this works out. Hmm. It's rendering, it's rendering. Now for some people it crashes with this codec, but oh, it looks like it's working. Hmm. It didn't work last time. That's so strange. Hmm. Well, if you guys been having problems with the Sony Vegas crashing, then I highly suggest that so I guess my codex worked. Um, and that's kind of strange. Um, so the way to solve this issue with the Sony Vegas not crashing, because some some of you out there are having the same problem, what I did was I downloaded the trial version of Vegas Pro 9.0 Trial. Uh, you can look this up on your website or the website. Uh, I think it's sonycreativesoftware.com I think and you can download v Vegas Pro, Pro 9.0 trial the trial version and it's the 9.0 C version and once I downloaded it I had no problems whatsoever with the Vegas crashing with uploading a .ts file or a .m2ts file so so I basically saw that because I don't know I think Vegas Pro had some files in here Oh wait, here we go. Never mind, it crashed. So, haha, -ha, it does crash. Okay. So, if you have this problem that it crashes, you probably um, then it's probably just a file corruption for rendering. So, because the platinum version, the platinum version doesn't, um, like say it doesn't hold up 60 frames per second of rendering for some reason this platinum version or basic version I believe the, those uh, softwares don't work well under 60 frames per second but if I do it on Vegas Pro 9.0 C I basically import any media it doesn't matter and I can just use the same file .ts file click and drag onto the timeline and let's see now let's let's try to match the settings for this I'm going to go to open, 12 by 7 so yep, 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 apply, okay. So these are all the same. When I render it out, render as, I basically rendered on a WMV file. Uh, I'm going to just not title this as HD test. Alright, so we're just going to save it. And we're just going to, and now just going to let it render. So, usually this will render for about, I don't know. Again, HD takes a while to render. It's only like not even not even 15. Se it's at least 14 seconds long, but it takes a while to render out. So, if you have any issues whatsoever about the um, of the films like rendering or anything, most likely it's just your software that's not compatible with the uh, rendering of 60 frames per second. So if you're gonna 
if you want to you know import any media from Hophodge HDPVR or editing videos that have a .ts file .m2ts file or an mp4 file for perhaps um, I know some of you have problems importing mp4 files on Vegas uh, the reason why is because I don't know the software needs to recognize the .mp4 file as a video file and it sometimes it doesn't import it correctly so but the pro version actually recognizes it as a video so if you need to actually re you're going to have to uh, upgrade your pr um, software to a pro version if you need to render any HD file types um, if you want to you know edit your file types or videos try to up upgrade your software to Vegas Pro 9.0 just get the trial version for like 30 days and it you know you'll be all set and um, and if you need to you can create new emails and try to download Vegas Pro again or buy a serial number again so just try to upgrade it um, I solved my problem here and it actually works so just give you a heads up so thanks for watching